Alright. Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahaw Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahaw Shai. Call Hala Yahawa by Shim Yahaw Shai by Shim Kakadash. Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahaw Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim who teaches truth and sincerity. Shalom to the few Aqua who believe on the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai through serving their husbands. Okay? So, to get back on subject, um, to the spirit, Lord willing, you know, we're getting back into our, our salvation, these chariots of the nation of Israel, the chariots of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Matthew 24 and 30. And it shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Yahweh Shemiah Shai is going to have a fathership. Okay. A massive so-called UFO chariot. Okay. A massive so-called UFO. All right, and it's gonna be beautiful. All right, I'm trying to get better quality. You know, we always want to see it in the best quality, but you know, Lord willing, we'd be able to be those ones to receive salvation and get up in there. All right, so the book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 7. And this is why we should not fear. You know, we're men, we're men, but we need to have our faith and our fear in Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay, so book of Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Yahweh by Shimei Shai camped round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Who is the them? The them. Well, the them is the elect, the remnant, all right, the one third, okay? They're the ones who are going to fear Yahweh by Shimei Shai, okay? And fearing him right now. Book of Psalms 91 and 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, okay? Now, we know we have angels through the spirit realm protecting us, but those chariots are the angels of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Remember, we was led by a chariot uh, when we was walking through the wilderness, all right? A pillar of fire, a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, okay? So, here's an account of, uh, of the chariots, basically, okay? Our salvation, similar to our salvation, okay? 2 Kings 6 and 16, it says, And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. All right. Remember, everything is spiritual before it's physical. Now read on verse 17. And, El and Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Well, I'm going to say just Yahweh, but Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We know that through the Spirit. Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes. That he may see. And the Yahweh Shem Shai opened his eyes, opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Okay? Now, that's spiritual power. That's the protection of Yahweh Shem Shai that it's talking about, right? And camping round about him. All right? This is, this is our salvation. This is what we got protecting us, okay? One of the many ways that Yahweh Shem Shai can deliver us and protect us, okay? So here's another account. 2 Kings 2 and 9. It reads, And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what shall what what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Now that's deep, all right? Let a double portion of the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai be upon me, okay? And it says, and he said, thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. So Elijah kept it real with Elisha. All right. Now let's read on. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire. Okay. And horses of a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder 
and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. All right. Yeah, Elijah was beamed up. Okay. And, and Elisha saw it and he cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel, the chariot of Israel. Okay. And the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his clothes and rent them into pieces. In two pieces, okay? So Elisha saw Elijah get beamed up, all right? And he knew through the spirit what it was. It was the chariot, the chariot of Israel, okay? That's where our faith is, all right? Look at that. Look at the beauty of Yahweh Shemir Shai, the salvation that Yahweh Shemir Shai is going to give us, okay? So now, I don't know how much longer I got on this video. I got a few minutes, all right? So now let's read on. This is what these other nations is gonna gonna think, all right? Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. And when they shall see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Now, who's that his? And whose salvation is it? Well, that his is the nation of Israel. And that salvation is for the nation of Israel. Via Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right? You know, they ain't going to comprehend the salvation that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to gonna, uh, reveal. Alright? And, and, and give to his elect men. Alright? And Lord willing, the elect women that make it. Okay? So... Let's go ahead and uh, reassure that scripture on the salvation. All right. Isaiah 14. It says, For the Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set him set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay. So now understand that Yahweh Shem Yahshai, he's coming back. He's coming back to recompense the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. And he's coming back to restore peace on the earth. And he's coming back to give salvation to his elect. Okay. Now you can read on down. I'm gonna read it for you. And the people shall shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Yahweh for service and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So there will be slavery, servitude in the kingdom. It's just we're going to be in our, our, our lot, all right, to be rulers of the earth, all right. Rulers, kings, and priests of Yahweh by Shai, all right. So now just to break this first scripture down. Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and you choose Israel and set them in their own land. Yahweh is basically going to keep hold of his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and put us, the children thereof, in that land through the, through the promise that he made to our forefathers. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Now we have Israelite foreigners out there, all right, who do not walk through the ways of Yahweh and do not know that they're Israelites because they probably look like the heathen. Okay, and following the heathen customs. Okay, the speckled bird. Now, verse two, and shall and they and the people shall take them. Well, that's us taking the heathen nations. All right, Esau, Edom, and the and the rest of the other nations. All right, take them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for service. Handmaids, they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Now, to further back that up, Revelation thirteen and ten. He that leads to captivity shall go into captivity. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Not sure how much time I got. Don't have much time. But Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to just let this play out. This is our salvation. Hakim. All right. Call Allah, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, by Shem, Rekak, Kadash, Aman. Especulaciones, como por ejemplo, el acercamiento de una nave madre tripulada por extraterrestres explorando el, pulmo, el pulmón del planeta. 